Biden granddaughter Naomi supports Kate by twin dresses giving homing blow to Meg politic delusion. Joe Biden's granddaughter Naomi is Princess Kate's double in regal wedding dress. Naomi Biden was the picture of elegance as she married Peter Neal at the White House on 19th of November wearing a wedding dress inspired by royalty. In photos taken by Corbin Gherkin and John Dolan, President Joe Biden's granddaughter stepped out in a Ralph Lauren gown complete with long sleeves and a demure Chantilly lace overlay that covered her neck and shoulders. The sophisticated bridal gown may remind you of the likes of the Princess of Wales and there's an excellent reason for that. Princess Kate rocked a Sarah Burton for Alexander McQueen dress with a full skirt and a long sheer sleeves for a 2011 royal wedding, while her sister Pippa tied the knot six years later in a similar Giles Deacon high neck dress. While many royal fans spotted the similarities between Kate's gown and Grace Kelly's 1956 frock, she never confirmed whether she based any of the designs on the Monaco royal. However, Naomi revealed that Prince William's wife inspired her dress. To finish her look, the bride wore her hair tied back in a bun and a veil with embroidered detailing. Fans rushed to compliment her look with one writing, Amazing gown, beautiful train, Ralph Lauren does not disappoint, and another adding, Pure elegance, absolutely stunning. A third remarked, Naomi's gown is stunning. Planned by celebrity wedding planning company Raffinelli, Naomi and Peter wed on the South Lawn in the first ceremony in over a decade at the White House. Attended by her grandparents, President Biden, and First Lady Jill Biden, and 250 guests. Peter wore a navy three-piece suit, also by Ralph Lauren, and Joe and Jill wore coordinating blue outfits. The couple met four years ago after being set up on a blind date by mutual friends. They announced their engagement in September 2021 after Peter proposed in Wyoming with a family heirloom. According to CNN, Naomi's engagement ring was a bespoke piece designed by a jeweler in Washington, D.C. Peter reportedly chose to use the gold band of his late grandmother's engagement ring alongside a sizeable emerald cut diamond. In the meanwhile, the exiled UK royal, long rumoured to have arrived on the White House, startled the GOP lawmakers when she unexpectedly called them to lobby for federal paid parental leave as part of President Biden's divisive proposals, they told Politico. Susan Collins told Politico she also got a call from Prince Harry's wife, who famously turned her back on the royals and accused them of racism in a bombshell TV sit-down. Much to my surprise, she called me on my private line and she introduced herself as the Duchess of Sussex, which is kind of ironic, Collins said, according to Politico reporter Marianne Levine. In a new photo shared on her Archwell site on election day on Tuesday, the Duchess of Sussex flashes a smile as she sports an I Voted sticker. The picture accompanied a news release titled Vote, with a short message encouraging Americans to cast their ballots. Today is election day in the US. Time to get out and vote, the statement said. Text Archwell to 26797 to find your polling location and make sure you're ready to vote. The statement went on to share a handful of tips for those voting in person, like confirming polling location, bringing the right ID, and reviewing what's on the ballot, with links to more info at non-partisan sites. I'm a voter, vote riders and ballot ready. People previously confirmed that Meghan 41 was the first person in the modern royal family to vote in the US. 